this video we want to take a look at creating a terrain model of a stormwater management pond and then doing a, a quick volume analysis on it. So you can see I've defined um, the basics of a pond. I've got the pond bottom here in blue. I've sloped up to a particular um, volume here um, to establish the um, the top and then and you can see I did that at a 50% slope, I set a free board of two feet, and then my volume, my target volume was 100,000. Um, and then I've sloped, here I've sloped out to the ground, a terrain model, and I've sloped it four to one. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, create a terrain model from those elements. You can see them over in my 3D view. So to do that, I use the uh, terrain tools under the open roads modeling workflow I'm going to use the terrain tools from elements create so create terrain um, the tool will step me through locating the elements um, I'm going to create them as break lines and my method will be edge of maximum triangle length and then my proposed contours is my feature definition so I'm going to assign a feature definition to that tree model but I'm going to go ahead and overwrite the name and call it pond so I'm going to locate the elements that I want to add so those three elements um, when I'm done I reset or right click and make them break lines and have it create the train so you can see in the 3D view, you can see the contours there, up to the um, to where it slopes up to the ground surface. Uh, now I can see here, for example, that in this interior kind of angle there, I um, over since it's a break line, it's uh, triangulated outside that area, so I can fix that. Um, we've got some editing tools as well, uh, from, and so I can go ahead and and for example change the feature type so if I select change feature type um, locate the terrain linear feature that I want to change reset when I'm done set it to a boundary and you can see it kind of cleans up that and you can also see it cleaned it up in the 3d view okay so now that I have a, a terrain Okay, I can go ahead and and create a uh, volumes on it. So we've got under the analysis section in terrains, we've got some volumes here. Create cut fill volumes and analyze volume. So I'm going to go ahead and use the analyze volume tool. Um, we've got a couple methods: uh, terrain model to terrain model, or terrain model to plane. So for example, if I select a terrain model to plane. Um, select the train model pond I'm going to go from the pond to um, elevation 5260 and cut and fill of one and so you can see as I step through I can set you know if I want if I want a boundary or a reset for none I can do that I'll reset for none and you can see it's calculated um, the volume and it's going to place the volume on my uh, cursor and I'm going to go out here and place it in the view and we can see terrain pond to plane 5260 cut fill and then the cut volume and the fill volume and that's in cubic feet so you can see it's in your master units. You could also do a terrain to terrain, so terrain model to terrain model. I could locate my existing terrain model. So for example, <clears throat> the um, existing ground and my two terrain model would be my pond terrain and then again any cut fill factors that I want to adjust 
I won't do a boundary and then we'll come out here and we'll place that and you can see again the results so just a simple way of creating a pond from terrain or trim from your pond elements and then doing a quick volume